Hello everybody, this is Stringy Me here for part 2 of the last 16 round for the Champions Tournament. And while part 1 was very enticing, we had 4 epic contests, so we'll pick up where we left off and get on with our first match. Deontay going up against Navarre. Ooh, Alpha Reed. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Keontae, we got a T-Rex. Keontae, one of the newcomers to my tournaments, doing done pretty well in the trials actually, to be fair. Done really well. But it will be a tough task for them because in the blue corner, representing Navarre, we have Super Eel Karkiria. Awaken mode at 3. Navan, for those for those of you that don't know, <coughs> Navan was actually Dragon Destroyer in my last tournament, and we all know that the miraculous run they had in their debut tournament, winning every comp match until the final where they lost to Maastricht. So yeah, it's going to be a very intriguing contest. Let's do the overachieving debutant versus the um, actual debutant. And so far, it's the overachieving debutant starting off strong. Both of these guys do have death fire, I might add. Ooh, but it's a dominant start from Navan. And there's the awaken mode. And that will end any hopes Kionte had of getting off a death fire. Can they land this head? Ooh, they do land the next head. Ooh, interesting. Of course he gets Deathfire off. <laughs> Deathfire served Navan very well in the previous tournament. I should point out... Okay, well, he doesn't get it off anyway, but... Had Keontae got the Deathfire triggered, he would have got it off there. And would be in the lead. But Keontae coming back into this contest. And Keontae does indeed take the lead. Ooh, now you could be a bit of a problem here for Nivan. Coming in next, we've got Allosaurus. They'll have tight disadvantage against the T-Rex, so it can't really afford to get hit here. It does need to get the next hit on the board to take out that T-Rex and take out that possible crit threat. Because if the T-Rex gets a crit here, Keontae will build a pretty big lead. Oh, actually, no, we haven't had a tie yet, but that's not good for Nirvan. So the Burning Dash has yet to be triggered. Okay, there's a tie. And that will be all she wrote for the T-Rex. Right, Dio, then. Coming in for Keontae. Second I know, we got Shantungasaurus. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, dun, bum. This shant is a is a force to be reckoned with, but from type advantage to type disadvantage. So even though Keontae has the lead, Dragon Destroyer does have the upper hand in terms of type advantage. That could be key for Dragon Destroyer to get back in this contest. Oh, that's another tie. Another tie. Oh, we're going to have tie for the looks of it. Another tie. Well, if you're Keontae, you not, you you're not bothered by it, but you're bothered by that. That's not good. That's an injury attack. And that will put Keontae on the back foot. Oh, definitely. Well, they had the lead, but now Dragon the... Nirvana is back in command. Right, coming in for Keontae's third dino is Alpha Irritator. Bum. Dun dun. And um, this Alpha Irritator didn't do particularly well in its respective trial. But it's gonna have to pull its weight here if Keontae wants to stay alive in this tournament. 
Ooh, get a hit. And takes out the aloe. From one water type to another. For Navan's third dino, we got Spinosaurus. Hmm. In terms of the matchup, I say Navan has the, has the upper hand here. But we are level pecking, so yeah. It's been a really even contest so far. Uh, back and forth, Navan, Navan starting strong and then Keontae coming back into it. Navan retaking the lead and now Keontae striking back. So I'm intrigued to see how this contest will finish. Ooh. Navan gets the next hit. It's an Aqua Whip. Ooh, the Aqua Vortex getting triggered there. That could come in handy. And they will come in handy. Aqua Vortex gets activated in the tie. Bum, bum, bum. That will remove all of Spino's moves as well, so that will come in handy. Oh, hello, hello, hello. We got a poison fang. Venom fang. Sorry. <laughs> Half asleep. Um. Has Keontae turned the screw in this match? Because the poison will be a factor. And it will take its toll on the Spino. Oh, is that a crit? Is that going to do it? Is this the end for Navan? Oh, it's not. He's still in it. But... Keontae, yeah, Keontae has definitely turned the screw here, but don't underestimate that Spinal's crit. Ooh. Wow, this is this is going right down to the wire. Keontae, Navar not giving up yet. Wait, is this... Ooh, now that... Ooh, that's, that could be a big shockwave. Well, Spino's got to go for the crit, as per the shockwave rules. Oh, no! On the brink of winning, but Keontae just couldn't finish the job. And it's Navan's victory that takes him through to the quarters. Okie dokie, in the red corner for MEJP10, we got Alpha Allosaurus. MEJP10 seems to just get better with every tournament they take part in. I mean, who can forget their first ever tournament where they didn't win a single match? And in the second tournament, they got the semi-finals. So yeah, they seem to get better with every tournament they take part in. It'll be a tough ask though, because in the blue core, we have got, for clay foliage, a Super Eel Carcaria. And yes, this thing, not only does it have type advantage, it's got the Awaken mode, if it needs it, and it's got Death Fire. So yeah, don't be surprised to see Clay Foliage take an early lead here. But, it's not about how you start, it's how you finish. Ooh, that's a tie. I mean, we'll probably want my ties to be honest. Chip away that eel cock area as hell. Although, the Allosaurus is taking slightly more damage, though. Oh, they're going to take a big chunk of damage here, because that's a crit. That's one. Oh, here come the hits, and the hits are going clay foliage way. I didn't say that right. Clay foliage's way. Okay. Coming in next for MEJ E10, we've got a Sorofagonax. Sorofagonax was very disappointed in its trial in its first tr in its trial. Really disappoint, real letdown. Sorofagonax in recent tournaments seems to just suck. No matter who uses it, it just seems to just it seems to just suck. This will this time be different though, because that, my friends, is a fireball. Oh, 
Oh, look at that! And I don't think we're going to see the Awake Remote, because that's only twice. So unless Eel Karkiri gets a hit here, we're not going to see its Awake Remote. Oh, we're not going to see it. The Sorrow Fagin Axe dispatches it with ease. Didn't even get a Death Fire triggered either. Very unlike Eel Karkaria. And just like that, MJP10 evens the score. And now has the upper hand because coming in next for Clay Foliage is Carnotaurus. And yeah, you... I feel like Emmy could take a big lead here. Although, let's not discount this Carno. It does have a very powerful crit that it can use. It can still do a large amount of damage to the Faganax. Oh, but he's not going to get it off. That tie bomb's going to help. Oh, this is going to be big. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to feel like MEGP10 has turned the screw here. I think Clay Foliage put all their eggs into the Eel Carcaria and, well, it hasn't really worked. And the other two dinos are just something that are just left head scratching. That will guarantee Carno's demise? Because the Sorrow Fragments will be forced to go paper. He can't go scissors. Okay, it's a tie, so at least he does some damage. But the Carno goes down. And now, all of a sudden, Clay Foliage playing catch up. Right, coming in next for, for Clay Foliage, we've got a Super Minus, an Alpha Super Minus. Sukumimus. Let's not discount clay foliage yet. But yeah, things don't look good for them. Tie. At least all them tie bombs are gone. Another tie. Another tie. Oh, but back to the ties fest. Oh, another hit. That's a crit block. Yeah, this this Sorrow Faganax is looking unstoppable right now. Yes, take a look, all you other Sorrow Faganax users. This is what a real one looks like. Mopping the floor with a competition. You can't go scissors. I'm sorry. Oh, no. That's, that's going to be game. This Zoro Faganax looking unstoppable. Come on, can you at least hit it? Okay, tie, but no. And unfortunately for Clay Foliage, it's a rather disappointing exit. Did well to get this far, but any JB10 proving too strong. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Mr. Nopi, we have got an Apatosaurus. What's interesting is that both our combatants have a Pathosaurus in their team. Bum, bum, bum. So yes, gonna be an interesting matchup. See which one uses the Impactor. But at first for Dinosauria in the blue corner, we got Majungasaurus. Mr. Dinosauria, well, scraped through the last 16 by the skin of their teeth with a last gasp tie on the Sorrow Pelter, which had got them the points they needed to get this far. Whereas Nopi's journey was a little bit more con convincing and comfortable. But yeah, I feel like we're in for a very even contest here. And just to make my point clear, we start with a tie. But this Apatosaurus is tie defense type, so ties would fa will favor Nopi. As will that crit. Look, back to the ties. Another tie. Ooh, Dinosauri are getting their first hit of the match. A recovery to come as well. 
and we are pretty much back to level packet. <sighs> More ties. <laughs> Ooh, but a Pathosaurus lands the next blow, a light recovery to come. But I'll put Noki back in the lead. I mean, can you really call it a lead? One hit and Dinosauria is back in front, so... Mm. Speaking of that hit... Oh, wow, I did loads of damage. Wait, what type is this? Major oh, it's counter-type. It's got to be counter-type. Look at this. Like, can, can you just... This is a summary of evenly matched. Such a tight contest, but it is Dinosauria that takes the lead. And lands the first knockout. Right, coming in next for Nopi, we've got Isosaurus, or Titanosaurus called Dirty. Can Nopi strike back here, or can Mr. Dinosauria extend their lead? Ooh, that's a crit, but the dino stuff is going to deny him. That could be a crucial dino hunter, especially in such a tightly contested match. That dino hunter, that dino stuffer could be crucial. Nopey getting a crit there. And, well, yet again, we're all square. Wow. How much you bet this match ends in a tie? Right, coming in next for Dinosauria, we've got a Patasaurus. Only one secret move though, unlike Nopi's, which had two. So we'll see how this one fares. I think this one's more tie oriented as well. So that will give Dinosauria the up hand in ties. And we've got plenty of them in this match. Wow, this is, this is so, this is what it should be, like, back and forth hits, neither side giving an inch. This is combat, this is really good. Not freaking one-sided, every one person gets all the hits massacres, but they're boring. Ooh, here comes a recovery, a light recovery, I believe. Oh, that's a decent amount of damage. And that puts Noki back in the lead. Up, oh, up, oh, here comes the hit from a Patasaurus. Wow. This is... You can't call this match. You really can't. Oh, that tie, though, could change things. Ooh. A secret move. And that puts Dinosauria in the lead. So interesting, the Dinosauria has not knocked out the um, Apatosaurus first and knocked out the Ap Isosaurus first. Okay, coming in for Nopi's third Dino, we have pretty much a staple of their team. We have Tank. Can Tank finish off the Apatosaurus and level things up yet again? Or will this be the moment that Dinosauria turns the screw? Dun, 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 dun. Has Mr. Dinosauria turned the screw in this contest? Okay, that Crystal Crusher could could be key here for Nopi. Oh, that's a crit! Yeah, I think this is it. I think Mr. Dinosauria has finally turned the screw on this match. That's going to do a massive amount of damage. And all of a sudden... From an even contest. Nopey on the brink of defeat. 
but the side cheat tank is not done yet. Oh, come on! Really? Okay, I'm sorry, that was just a joke. <laughs> okay, well, there's, there's another head. That will max up the defense boost as well. That will come in handy. Just when you thought Noki was beaten, Tank fights back. And now has type advantage over this Arena Ceratops. So how's this match's momentum swung in Nopi's favor? Dun, dun, dun. Wow. Come on. God, it's... Even at this stage, you still can't call her. You really can't. Oh, that's a tie. Ties will probably suit Dinosauria more. Another tie. Nobody needs to get some hits on the board. And does. And that's a good hit there. With a type advantage. Oh, that's another tie. Oh, that's another tie. Is this it? It all comes down to this. Oh, no, he snatched it! Wow, Nopi has snatched the match away from Dinosauria to book their place in the last 16 round. 32, la in the quarter final Seven. round. Got it in the end. <laughs> wow, that match was, that was insane. I don't know how this final match is going to top it, but well, you never know. It just might. Let's find out, shall we? Okie dokie, in the red corner, the Maastrician, our current champion, we got Super Eocarcaria. Now, this is going to be interesting because the Awaken mode is right away, which is not the best idea in my, in my tournament, as previous combatants will tell you. In the blue corner, for Asta, we have got an Anata Titan. I do really like Asta's team. Very well balanced, well structured. This is going to be a tough match for Mastrishin. I remember Mastrishin have won their last nine matches in my tournaments, going back to my previous one. In fact, the only loss in my tournaments was to me in their very first match. So, yes. This is going to be a feisty contest. Oh, that's a tie. Now, one other thing I would like to note about Maastrishan's team is that he has all fire types. Which I feel is a problem. Because we've seen, we've seen guys do it before and use um, all dinosaurs with the same uh, element. And, and that hasn't usually panned out well. Right, here it comes. Got the death fire triggered as well. Oh, doesn't get it! How costly is that gonna be? Well, in that Titan has taken damage, so. It's not as if Asta's in an unassailable lead at this point, and in fact. Maastrishin does have a very, very slight lead. So with everything said and done, we are pretty much tied. Until Asta gets the hit with an Atta Titan. And that will put Asta in the lead. <laughs> a Bigfoot Assault. Putting a big foot. Seismosaurus putting its big foot down on the Okarkiria's spinal cord. Right, coming in for Master Shin's second I know we got a Sorrow Fagonax. Yep, they're another fire dinosaur, but it doesn't, it doesn't have an over-reliance on fire moves for damage. So yeah, it's more adapted it's more adaptable in the bad matchup, so I will say that. But yeah. Comes up against a water dinosaur in this tournament, he's gonna struggle, and there are lots of water dinosaurs. 
In fact, I believe water dinosaurs are the most common dinosaurs. And that is not good either. Our champ is in big, big trouble. Literally, because he's got two big dinosaurs towering over him. Oh, that hurt. That, uh, that hurt. Okay, Master Shin finally getting hit in this match. Finally getting past the Ananta Titan. But it is Asta in the lead. Right, well, things really are going to get heated up because coming in for Asta's second dino, we got the Torvosaurus. This Torvosaurus, I believe it did. Okay, it did okay during its uh, respective trial. <laughs> I don't think we've had a uh, mirror match with Dr. Taylor yet. Ooh, Tor, he gets the first hit. It's heroic type as well, so he's going to do damage. Oh, look at this. Is Mastrushin in trouble? Alpha Slash. Coming in for Maastrichtian's third dino, we have got Terry. And I will point out that Asta's third dino is Joborian. But this Terry doesn't have any fire moves. But it's gonna have to do a lot of work here if Maastrichtian wants to get back in this contest. I believe should Master Shion win this match and the next one, they will break the record for the longest win streak in, in my tournaments. Which I believe is held by Ultimate Dino King. And I believe it's somewhere around 10 or 11. Well, crits are very much welcome here. Ooh, we got the double dive coming in as well. Maastricht and get right back in this contest and look at this all of a sudden. Never right off the champ. Right, for Asta's third dino we got a Joe Boria. This Joe Boria is heroic type so Terry is actually a pretty good match for her. But Terry does have dino stuffer so that hydro cutter will not activate right away. But if Joboria does get off a crit, it's going to do a severe amount of damage to Terry. Not a crit, but Asta will take that hit there, stifling Maastrichtian's momentum there. That's a tie, most of that is a tie. Ooh, there goes the Dino Stuffer. Now there's nothing stopping Asta from landing that crit. Should they get it? Should they get it off in this match? And in fact, I think even at that state, that the health Terry's at now, I think a crit will be enough. Oh, he's got the scissors! Ooh, dodged a bullet there. Can't go, can't afford to go scissors, Maastrician. Really can't. Can't afford to get hit either. Now he's in the danger zone. Oh, is that it? Is that it for the jump? Maastrician heading out. Suffering defeat in this tournament at the hands of Asta. And it's Asta's victory that takes them through to the quarterfinals. And it will not be Maastrician's tournament this time. Well, that is our quarterfinal lineup, ladies and gentlemen. Up here, we will see Ultimate Dino King take on Carnotaurus Man. Raybone going up against Dino Fans. Nirvan going up against MEGE10. And Nopey taking on Asta. And wow, with Maastrician going out, a favourite as well, I might add. This is, this is truly anyone's tournament. I, like, I can't call it. So, yeah, that's it for the last 16 rounds. So, 
Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you don't miss out on the quarterfinal round. And until then, ta-ta! Mm-hmm.